This video is part three of reading from files and in this video we're going to use read line and see how we can parse through this data line by line. Uh, we're going to use this Piper data here so if you don't don't already have that I'll have a link down in the description for that or you can use your own. This is just a text document just typing out line by line. This particular list lists Piper aircraft. So we're going to start this by setting up a variable. So we're going to say airplanes and we're going to use that to open the Piper file. And that needs to be in quotes. And we're going to use this to read the files. So we're going to use R. Our next line, we're going to set up another variable. We're going to call that A1. And we're going to read from the airplanes variable that we set up here. And again, we're going to use read line. And we're just going to print this out for now. So we're going to print A1, which is the variable we set here. Now when we do that, we see that it prints just the first line of our data. So if we go back to our data, we see the first line is the PA11 Cub Special, and that's what it printed out. So we're going to inject here another line with A2, and it's going to be exactly what the previous line was airplanes dot read line and we'll do the same thing with A3. I'm just copying these and pasting them and I'm going to change that A2 to an A3. So we have three variables A1, A2, A3 all of them with just the read line code and the way we're going to print this out is we'll say A1 comma A2 comma A3 3. When we print that out, we'll see that we get three lines. So we see the PA11 Cub Special, the Archer, and the J2 Cub. And we see those are the first three in the list there. So let's look at another way to do this. I'm going to take out these lines. I'm going to leave our open line up there. And we're going to set up a variable called plane. And that's going to equal airplanes.read dot read line. So essentially it's exactly what we had A1 as before and we're going to set up a while loop so while plane so it's going to cycle through this line by line until it gets to the end of this text list so the last one here is the arrow star so while there's something in there we're going to say plane equals airplanes dot read line and we're going to print plane which is our variable we set here and we're going to run that and I'm getting that error because I can't spell airplanes let's try that again so we see that we have all of our items in the list there. So let's add a few other things. We can use other string methods that we've learned in the past, such as upper. And when we run that, we see everything is uppercase. And I'm going to show you a different way than we did in the past to sort these and to take out these empty lines here. So let's use the dot strip.
and we can see that takes out the empty lines. It's a little bit easier way than we did it in the past. We can also take out, let's say we're going to take out Piper. So when we run that, we see that it's taken out all of the Piper. It used to say Piper PA-12 Supercruiser and it took out Piper. Now, notice when we did that, we get our lines back, our empty lines. So the way we can combat that is we just do a backspace in and we run that again and it takes out that additional blank space that we got in there. So I hope this is useful to you. And there'll probably be some other videos on this because there's so much we can do with data when we pull it into files like this. Thanks for watching.